Welcome to a quick look at uh, how to install a, uh, a specific mod with uh, OpenIV or Open whatever it's called. Um, let's call it OpenIV for the purposes of this. Uh, this particular mod was requested by My Final Hours. Go check out his channel. Without further ado, the mod in question is the More Pedestrians and Traffic by Lupin. Check it out, GTA 5 mods. Um, totally unprepared. And absolutely exhausted so excuse me for being a uh, thing anyway open iv um grand theft auto 5 there we go that will make it big so you don't have to see my messy desktop so yeah run the program now i've already downloaded the mod and opened the zip file which is over here look magic there it is Doo -doo. Uh, within the uh, mod file you have a various selection of different levels of mod important things to note before we do anything backup config got one there look so that'll be like a, a stock a vanilla uh, game config so if you break stuff within the actual mod file you've got a backup file just do what you did before basically drag that in i'll show you that in a second uh, always advisable get rid of that for a second is to back up your file now uh, in, I believe in the installation instructions which incidentally I don't know whether you get some in the actual zip I don't think you do I'll go up again can we go up again or is it just going to chuck me there so yeah you don't get any installation instructions there but you do get them over here installation there we go as it states there back up your update dot rpf file um, which I think is totally um, a legit thing. And how do you get there? You might be crying and screaming at the screen because I'm waffling on. So, um, update. When you open, basically, if you've used OpenIV before, or Open4, whatever it's called, then this bit will work. You'll click Windows and it'll load up. And there you go. This is basically your, your game folder here where your GTA 5 execut executable sits, which is there. It might look slightly different from your, your actual Windows browser executable folder. I'm not too sure because I think there's a load of stuff here that perhaps you don't normally see. But we'll ignore that. Oh, the thing we want is update here. It's a folder. Click on that or double click on that. No matter how you've got it set up. Update RPF. Rage package file. Now, you can back up that. That will back up everything within that uh, Rage package file. But as you can see, it's 313 meg. Might be a bit low on space. So, mm -hmm. you can back up individual things within that. So, again, double click on that. That opens it up. And I suspect we are in common. Most things tend to live in common. So, double click on common. And then we want data. Okay, I uh, can't see the wood for the trees. It was smack bang in front of my face. Anyway, gameconfig.xml. There it is. 57 kilobytes. Now, to back that up, is my window with backup stuff in it. Uh, okay, cool. So, yeah, just click on the relevant file. And nice to see my window has disappeared. Put it over there. Just basically click, hold, drag, dump. And uh, it, it automatically extracts that file and dumps it in your Windows world. So you should see that in your Windows Explorer window. Too many windows in that sentence. So that's backed up. I've got my own game config now backed up, independent of the, the backup in the zip file, which I think is always awesome practice. And, of course, that's only 57 odd keg versus 300 and something meg. So be a bit quicker. Uh so to install mod, it is quite simple, uh, in so much as it's the exact opposite. Uh, da -da, there it is. Missing a vital step here. Vital step that some people often fall down on. This little button up here in the top right hand corner, edit mode. Click. Chucks up that all, uh, warning. Just say, yeah, that's fine. But now, anything I fiddle about with within this world here, within the open... Open IV window, that's that just changes it. Basically, it doesn't give you a warning. It just does it. It just cracks on because you're in that edit mode. Uh, so that's an important thing to note. Anyway, now all you do, back in the uh, the zip file with the mod in it, drag and drop. Diddly do, bing. There you go. 
Uh, for me, because I've not previously modded the game config in any way, uh, it's, uh, I can tell it's worked because it's removed the encrypted, uh, let's call it a flag, off there. So I know that's uh, that's happened. And that is it. You can see the difference between the edit modes and know that you're in it. When you're not in it, it's just like, meh, no, whatever. When you click on it, it stays highlighted. Look, got the blue. stays highlighted. So that's how you know you're in edit mode. And yeah, you can just come out of that. Now, the in the mod installation page, uh, or the mod page installation section, it does say here, uh, da, 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 select rebuild, and then rebuild the RPF. Now, I have never done that. Uh, I've done some stuff in time cycle. Most of time cycle, in fact. Uh, and that has worked. Uh, I've seen the effects of that in the game, so I know that those changes have actually taken place. Um, so I did remember reading somewhere somebody recommends not to rebuild. I'm not going to make a recommendation either way. All I'm going to say is I don't rebuild. Um, but the installation instructions for the mod say rebuild. I can't remember the reason, so we might want to look into that. Um, I would say, if let's put it this way, if you rebuild, it would be a bit difficult to un-rebuild. But if you don't rebuild and it doesn't work, then you can always rebuild. I don't know. Uh, the option's yours. I'm just telling you what I do. Um, and that's it. It's, it's not as scary as... Uh, or daunting um, wouldn't you know where to go I think that's the key thing especially with there being multiple things named the same thing you know update. there's an update here and an update there an update everywhere uh, so uh, run through you've got your basic GTA 5 folder you want the update folder up here double click again update RPF common data and uh, well, no, that's it. It's in that folder there, game config. Um, you don't have to highlight it. I'm just highlighting it for your benefit. So, And yeah, drag and drop. Uh, and don't forget the, the crucial edit mode. Because uh, I don't know what happens when you're not in edit mode. Let's do a live test. Oh, just, there you go. It's quite clear. It'll say no. It'll just give you a thing and it'll say no, can't do, unable. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps. Any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, please click the like button. Please click the subscribe button. And uh, please stay tuned for more, more uh, videos. And uh, yeah, drive safe and take care. Cheers.